Well, hello there, and I would like to welcome you to another session in our Women Lead online forums brought to you by Connected Women of Influence. I'm Patty Vargas, I'm your host today, and we are delighted to bring yet another exciting discussion for professional women everywhere. And these online forums are designed for you, for the busy professional business leader. And some sessions are designed to be informative, where our subject matter experts in their chosen field will share timely information to help expand your knowledge and make better decisions. That's what we're going to be doing here today. There are other online forums that are intended to be more thought-provoking, conversation starters, um, highlighting topics that are in the news that affect professional women, both personally and professionally. So whatever you're looking for, basically, we have an online forum for you. And our session today will last for around an hour. And if you've joined with video, you'll be able to see our subject matter expert and the other attendees alike. Questions and comments are always welcome and to help us manage the conversation. If you send a note via chat, I'll recognize you. If there's only a few of us, no problem. Just go ahead and, and say what you want to say. And if you have a question that you'd like to pose anonymously, you can just send it to me through the chat window instead of to all of the attendees. Now our topic today on Ask Me Anything is using Zoom effectively in our work. And I'm excited to introduce our thought leader today, Vassie Huntalis. Now let me tell you a little bit about her. Um, it, this is very interesting that it really dovetails into what Vassie does um, for for her professional work that she's here helping us with, with Zoom today. But she is the founder of Ignite Your Soul and her mission there is to support leaders who believe in creating a new paradigm of business that thrives on positively impacting the world. She has 20 years of professional experience. She has a master's in whole systems design on system-wide transformation in organizations, leadership development, and adult learning. And over the years, she's coached consulted and trained hundreds of clients including corporate and nonprofit leaders and teams career reinventors and entrepreneurs to cultivate clarity courage and collaborative relationships the reason that I wanted Vazi to share with us today about zoom is that I know she uses zoom extensively in her practice and it just dovetails with her willingness to share, her willingness to impart knowledge, uh, and her just openness with the business community. So I think we've picked the right person, much better than just, you know, some boring Zoom consultant, right? So, <laughs> so without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and introduce Bazi and take it away. And any questions that you have, let's just, let's feel free to let this be an open discussion. So go for it, Bazi. Hi, everyone. I'm happy to be here with you. And you know what um, that bio doesn't say about me is I've had this love-hate relationship with technology. <laughs> so in one way, I think it's sort of interesting that I'm here talking to you about this technology, but it also really speaks to the power of it and how I have found it to be useful for my business. And because of that, it makes me, I might use the word passionate here, passionate to share with others how you might use it in your business. And um, first off, I want to say one of the things that comes up for us when we start using video conferencing is that little voice in our head starts saying, oh my gosh, look at that, look at the way my neck is here, or oh my hair, oh my God. <laughs> so I just want us to all just kind of take a deep breath and just realize that that's sort of our human nature. It kicks in, especially for women, it's like looking in the mirror, right? And I want you to find one thing right now that you're going to say to yourself when you're on video conferencing something that's going to be positive about yourself. So, wow. Yeah. Uh, to counteract that little voice. Yeah. I love my shutters in the background. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, uh, Corrine, you're on mute. Um, Patty, can you unmute Corrine? Yeah. There you go, Corrine. Oh, Corinne, sorry. Yeah. What'd you I'm say? Sorry, I joined late. My my laptop was the only computer that would get me in. And so I didn't realize you guys would be seeing my messy office. <laughs> <laughs> That's some of what we're going to talk about today. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's okay. 
Uh, good. So anyhow, I just, I feel like that's a really good thing is to have already in your mind what you're going to say that's positive to yourself. Mm -hmm. So for me, I always think of my smile. And so I, I make a, a conscious effort to smile because I like to see my smile. Yeah. Um, but anyhow, we'll talk about background to Corinne and other things. So um, just off the bat, I want to give you a little bit of a orientation. But actually, before I do that, um, Corinne, I've had a chance to ask Eileen what her experience using Zoom. What about what's been your experience? Um, I actually was on my first Zoom meeting this week with someone else that initiated it. So I downloaded the uh, application on my laptop and I didn't realize that I had to do that also on my desktop. I thought I would just be able to Zoom in there. <laughs> but um, so I'm, I'm very new. I have everything to learn. Okay. Okay, great. So what you've already learned is that for each device, you need to have either the application, whether it's a desktop application or a mobile application. Mm -hmm. um, and so let me just start by giving us kind of a little lay of the land, since both of you are somewhat new and, and also people watching the replay might be. So at the bottom, usually at the bottom of your screen is a little bar. It says mute, stop video, invite participants. So if your chat window isn't already open, usually it opens to the right, go ahead and click chat and that'll open the window. And then I'm really, um, I really believe that doing things and experience and research has shown that when we do something, we remember it, right, to learn it. So as much as we can today, I'm gonna have you be doing things here. Um, so I'd like each one of you to type in um, your name. <laughs> And maybe one question that you have into the chat window. And then you just hit return when you're done. Mm. Hi, Deborah. Welcome. Great. So Deborah, we're just, everyone's just uh, typing into the chat right now their name and any question they might have. Great. So we're just kind of getting used to chat. So while everyone is looking at their chat, also notice where it says to everyone down at the bottom that you could also send private messages to any one of us. Okay. So that, that's also good to know. Yeah. So let me just read what you have here. Okay, great. Okay. So the other thing I want to orient you to is um, there's a share button. And I believe we, we've enabled it, right, Patty? So everyone can share. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So we'll, we'll if you want to, um, let's wait to click on that. But I'm just going to uh, mention that because Connie, that'll be about how you let others share your screen. Yeah, does everybody see the share button at the bottom of your screen where you see mute and video and all of that? It's a green button. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Great. Okay. So I wanted to just start a little bit with the basics and then we'll get into more of your questions and details. So one of the things I wanted to mention is um, that uh, lighting, <laughs> I want to mention lighting and background to start with. So your background may not be that important um, if you're, you know, right up against something. And I know, Corinne, you're, you're feeling um, self-conscious because you were, didn't realize you were on. You're like, oh my gosh, my office is messy. Very. Well, <laughs> yeah. One, one thing that's that I not found. Messy. <laughs> it's not messy. No. No. One thing that I found that's, that's easy to do is I actually share a home office with my husband. So there's like his computer and a lot of other stuff here is I do a couple really simple things before I get on Zoom. I have a couple scarfs nearby. I just throw a scarf behind here on my bookshelf. And, um, and I have a door here. It has a mirror on it. So that doesn't look good because it reflects and I just keep the door open. So it just helps if you have the same space that you just know when you go on Zoom, there's a couple easy things to do. So just some general tips is you don't want a lot of um, distraction 
and it's better if the light isn't shining directly um, behind you because sometimes that can just kind of wash you out. Okay, I'm gonna go. <laughs> So, but you're, you were actually okay, Corinne. Well, I share the office with my young son and he's very messy. And so oh, okay. I blame him and I'll sit out here. It's better. Yeah. <laughs> so just an, another basic thing too, is that um, your lighting, I'm going to talk a little bit about lighting here um, in a very simple way. Is it's best if your lighting is, is, if you have a lamp, it's a little to your right, to your side. Okay. So. I'm going to share with you, I'm going to do a screen share right now, and I'm going to share with you a wonderful lamp that I found. It's $20, and it was recommended by my husband who's a photographer. It has seven levels of brightness. It has both LED and incandescent. Oh, wow. So you might notice, and I'm just going to play with it, so just so you can notice how different it is. Um, I'm, I'm using natural lighting in my office, but sometimes I do evening Mm -hmm. And so if your if your lights or your windows are closed and you have your lights on, it can really wash you out the type of lights we normally have in our home. So this is a great lamp. So here it is full LED. So I'm probably not going to use that today, right? Because that's very much um, very uh, uh, bright with my lighting. And then this is it. A combination of warm uh, incandescent, which are your uh, regular light bulbs and LED. So it, it's, and, wow. and then this, see how different that is? Yeah. yeah. And I'm just touching it with my finger. And what it's also doing is fading out my background a little bit. So, um, so that's great if I don't really want my background to show, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to share with everyone this lamp just because I found it really helpful. And it's just a desk lamp. Um, wow. Hold on here. Am I actually sharing it with you? Yeah. Yeah, I see I it. Okay, good. Yeah. So That's there you go. Great. Yeah, it's really simple on Amazon and it has a bendable thing. I can't show you or I'll or move it, mm -hmm. but oh, actually I can. Let me see. My cord reach. No, my cord won't reach, <laughs> but it bends it. So what I've actually done is bent it. So it's straight up and it's to my right. So the, the lamp is straight up like this and it's to my right and it's shining right here. Great. That's a really easy setup. So that's, that's a little tip for lighting I found is helpful. And um, another basic thing is noise. So uh, I have an ear set plugged in, but you, a lot of times you don't need to. But I always know on Thursday my trash uh, pickup's going to go. <laughs> so it's good to know, or or the yard, you know, the yard guy next door, or whatever. Um, so I started putting this in because even though people could hear me without an earbud in, it was picking up all different noises. So it also helps if you've got other people in your house, right? Um, it's not picking that up as much. Um, so I recommend that. And then I'm, um, I'm doing the same thing today because my husband and I also share an office and he is, he's ensconced into his office. I'm in the living room right now, but the guy next door is having his house painted and pest control people just showed up at the door. So I keep my mouse right over the, the mute button because, you know, best laid plans. <laughs> yeah, well, and that's a good thing too, is if you aren't speaking, you might just want to go ahead and mute anyhow. I think that's a good etiquette practice because you just don't know what's going to happen um, in terms of noise. And then the other a question regarding yeah. earbuds, uh -huh. if I would plug my earbuds into my laptop, I would still be able to hear you, but would you be able to hear me or does it? Yes. Yes. Would you still be able to hear that um, ambient noise? It depends how sensitive your microphone is. Oh, okay. So mine is, is right near here. I've adjusted it and I just clip it as close as I can right here. Okay. Um, and it doesn't really pick up a lot of noise. I've asked people, like I, I asked someone yesterday, my air conditioner was really loud. And I was on a Zoom meeting and, I, and it, was, it was deafening to me. They couldn't hear it at all. The vent was probably four feet from me. Okay. So you can kind of test, test that. Um, and for, for those of you that are more new to Zoom, um, what you can do, because, you know, you can, if you don't want to get a paid account right now, you're still trying it or determining how you might use it, get a free account, ask a friend, send a link to a friend, and get on and test a few things. Okay. And we can do that here together. 
but um, but it's good to do a little bit of a dry run with your microphone, with your lighting, you know, in your space to get a sense of that. Okay. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention is our cameras, you know, are in different places depending on what computer you're using. But a general rule of thumb is if your camera is about eye level or even a, just a tad higher. So if your camera is below, see, I'm doing the camera below, you're gonna see my nose. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, <laughs> and if it's too high, it makes your forehead look big. So you want it somehow somewhere between your eye level and your forehead. So what I've done is I've added, uh, I have my laptop in a stand and a book under it. And that's, I know that's just the right height. And if you're on your phone, you know, it's a, it's a totally different story. But if you're doing a presentation or something that's a little more formal, where it's more important, um, or you're recording, um, that's a good place to have your, your, your uh, camera. Um, I made a few notes here. I keep, I keep referencing them. The other thing I want to say is, right now I'm looking at my camera and I'm not looking at you. If I look at you, you see what that looks like? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually looking down. So I've had to train myself for client sessions to look at the camera. Every once in a while, I'll look down or I, I, you can make your picture small, your Zoom window small, so I can make it small and reposition it so it's near my camera, so there's not too much of a... So now I'm looking at you, at one of you. Does it look like I'm still looking at you? Pretty close, yeah. Yeah. So that's a little trick is you can make that Zoom window small and close to your camera. Yeah. Okay. So what, does that mean you just take your window and, and resize it? And then how do you resize it? I didn't know about oh, that. Oh, yeah. So, to, and I'm on a Mac. I, I'm assuming it's the same on a Windows, but I don't know. Um, go to the far right corner. Of your picture? Of your, of your picture. picture. Okay. Or, or the chat window, if that's open, because basically it's the whole window that's open in Zoom. And okay. You can resize it. And then when I resize it, it moves to the far left. So then I just move it to the middle where my camera is. My camera is in the middle of my screen. Okay. Does that make sense, Patty? Yeah, I'll, I'll play with that a little bit yeah. later on too. That's great. That's yeah. a good tip. It's, you know, I, eye contact is really important to some people. Mm -hmm. And because I use this a lot for client sessions, I had to kind of play with it because um, otherwise, Either I was looking at the camera, not looking at them, which wasn't fun for me, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or I was looking at them, but to them, it didn't look like I was making eye contact. Right. So, yeah. Good. So anyhow, those are some of the um, basics there. And any questions about anything or anything I didn't cover with basics? Nope. Well, one of the things I learned just from, you know, that I had to scroll over the screen in order to see share and unmute and chat and all that. Because at first when I looked at my screen, I didn't see any of that. And you, you know, you said click on chat and I'm like, where's chat? <laughs> so I found it when I scrolled over, but that was another basic one-on-one thing. Yeah. Yeah. Good yeah. So, so do you feel comfortable now, Eileen, with the lay of the land? Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I, yeah. and I, Feel like a tech savvy person so but it's just I don't have a lot of experience with zoom so I really appreciate all the tips you're giving us yeah well I figure we'll start basic and then if maybe someone who's watching is new to that watches the replay but um, yeah so another thing I wanted to mention is um, at the top right you'll see um, of your zoom screen it looks like a little grid and an icon to the right of it with arrows that point out. Does, it, does everyone see that? Mm -hmm. Far right corner? Okay, mm -hmm. let's play with that. Let's play with the grid. So right now you're probably in gallery view. It may depend. If you click on it again, you're in speaker view. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So some of this can be how you set it up in your settings for your preferences, but um, it's also um, good to, to just know um, how that is. So in gallery, it's, um, for some reason, Eileen, your phone is showing up on that um, as the main speaker. <laughs> um, it's because but, I chose to use the, uh, my phone audio okay. this time. And 
So now I know just to use my laptop. Yeah, that's, that's okay. And the other thing too is if someone is just called in on their phone and not on video, um, we'll see a little blank uh, silhouette of a head. <laughs> It's the best way to descri describe it, right? Mm -hmm. So if someone is, um, if, if you're looking and you're like, what is that blank head? It's probably someone that called in on a phone unless um, they have their video uh, turned off um, mm -hmm. too. So that's the other thing. Now, so, now, do you see me on the screen at all? We do, we see you on the screen. Okay. I just see a telephone icon. Oh, you can't see Eileen on the screen. No. Oh. I oh, really? That. That's weird. Both Patty Wait, and I, no, can I see. see. I'm sorry. I do see Eileen, but there's a phone number and somebody. That's her. That's her. Yeah. Yeah. So Eileen, what you might do is sometimes there's a row at the top with the pictures, and it only shows a certain number of pictures. Do you see an arrow so that you could be able to see yourself? I can see myself. Oh, you can. Oh, I misunderstood. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to make sure you could. <laughs> we could. Absolutely. We can see you. Yeah. yeah. Good. And then let's also experiment with to the right of that um, other icon, the little grid icon is, um, it says enter full screen. So go ahead and click on that. So you'll see how all of a sudden everything's huge. <laughs> this is great for screen share. Mm -hmm. Now, if if the person conducting the meeting, uh, it has it on full screen or puts it in full screen and um, you want to get out of it, just hit the escape key. So sometimes the host is controlling that to be able to show things, but maybe you need to uh, get to something else on your computer. You wanna hit the escape. So that's a little tip there. And um, I wanna get to your questions now. Um, unless there's anything that's come up while I've just been talking this last bit here. Oh, I have one question on the buttons down at the bottom. Mm -hmm. uh, next to chat, I have a button that says record, but then I noticed it's already recording up in the left-hand corner. Is that mm -hmm. something that I accidentally pushed or is that something that you did? That's me. <laughs> I'm recording it so we can oh, play okay. it later for others. Oh, all right. Yeah. That's a good question. Um, if you were holding a meeting and you wanted to record it, when you press the record button, you would have a couple options. Um, and one is, um, and I can't do it to look, but I believe one is on your iCloud. Um, yeah, it's record to record. your hard drive or, or to your computer or record to the cloud. Right, and with Zoom you get, I think it's one, ooh, I'm not gonna say, it's one, is it one gig? I think it's one gig. Mm -hmm. of a uh, space or you could record you could record to your cloud um, so that's that's it also one thing that's um, that you may have heard with the free accounts is that you can only uh, be on for 40 minutes so a lot of people say oh I'm gonna get a, a pro account which is I don't know right now it's about $15 a month or so um, but what people don't realize is that even with a free account you could go longer than 40 minutes if there's just two of you Oh. It's when it goes three or more. Yeah, it's misconception. If it's three or more, that's when the you can't go beyond 40 minutes for a free account. You have to upgrade. Wow. So if you're just planning to use it with one person or with one client at first, you can just keep the free account and try it out. Um, so anyhow, just wanted to mention that. Um, I want to go into this next section with your questions, but I want to tell you how I've used um, Zoom because that may prompt my ideas and maybe some other questions. But I initially used Zoom because for years I've done coaching on the phone um, and also online classes, not online classes, but um, tele, tele programs on the phone. So when I switched to doing video conferencing, there were some things that were different that I had to get comfortable with. Um, but I now use this for probably 90% of my clients and probably 50% of my classes. So it's really changed my business. So what does that mean for us you know, as entrepreneurs is that it can really expand um, beyond um, local. 
and we can reach more people and also be more uh, um, efficient with our time <laughs> if we can use the technology right you know in a way that works for our services so what i have done is um you can have one meeting room right so if you have one meeting room when you go to schedule a meeting you always give people that same link well what i do is i actually make multiple meeting rooms because I have a meeting room for each client. Because when it records, that recording goes in a file for that meeting room specifically that I've set up. So I know some people do that differently, but I just wanted to mention that because I've found that's really easy if you're working with multiple clients, um, that it's nice to have a, an independent meeting room that you use for them, that's their own link, and that records the audio and the video. Um, so I wanted to mention that. I also wanted to mention that I've been using it for online classes and it's been really helpful. And we, we also can use what's called breakout rooms here. Do either one of you, have you heard of breakout rooms? Yeah. So just like if you were doing an in-person workshop or training or whatever, and you say to people, okay, break into small groups and answer these questions or talk about this you know, or if you were having a group planning session or a collaboration meeting and you wanted people to pair up and, and, you know, do different things on the agenda, you could do that. You could do a breakout room. So Patty and I thought that we would give you that experience in case you wanted to use it. Um, and um, what we're going to do is we're going to, let's say 30 seconds, you're going to be in a breakout room, which basically means that we'll break it in two. So maybe Patty, uh, you and Corinne can be in one and I and Eileen can be in one or something like that. Okay. Um, we'll have 30 seconds and um, you can just chat and, um, and then we'll come back. And that's controlled by, by the host. So Patty will break us into rooms. It'll just be two of us and then she'll break us back into the, the main uh, group. Okay, you're gonna, have, you're gonna have to help me with that because okay. I haven't yeah. done it. <laughs> yeah, sure. So when you do break out, Actually, why don't you talk so that we, so that um, both everyone can understand what you're seeing at your end too? Okay. So tell us what you're seeing. Okay. Well, right now I'm still seeing all of us here as the gallery, and um, and I wonder was oh boy did I have to enable that maybe when I set up the meeting or oh you might have had to do that. Okay. So we okay. may not be able to need to do that. Okay. Yeah. So I'm I'm looking on the screen and I'm not seeing any place where I could do that That's so okay. well actually this is a perfect time i wanted to share with all of you what settings are available so perfect. i'm going to share my screen um, so this will be our first experience of sharing a screen and basically what i'm doing is i'm going to that green little rectangle that's in your your icon bar with the arrow i'm clicking on that mm -hmm. and that brings up a window that shows all the open windows on my computer <laughs> <laughs> usually i have a lot of open windows so what I've learned to do if I'm going to go on Zoom and share is I close a lot of my windows so that it's really quick yeah. and I can find uh, what I'm looking for. So I choose the window, I highlight it, I click share. And can everyone see? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, yeah. Our, our little uh, pictures that are all either in a row this way or in a row vertically, um, they may be in the way. You can move those. You can put your cursor in the black bar at the top and you can move that if it's in the way anywhere or resize it. Okay. It so, actually works good along the top because now I still have my chat window and I can see your screen down below. Oh, good. I'm gonna do that too, Corinne. Yeah, that works for me too. <laughs> it's a good place for it. <laughs> okay, so what are we looking at here? You'll notice that my icon is on the, on the um, right corner, far right corner. I'm in Zoom, I'm signed in. Um, you can put a picture there. Uh, so if your video is not on, or if, or if you enter a meeting without your video on, it'll show a picture of you. So you can do that in your preferences. That's why there's a little picture. And where I'm in is, um, let's see. Here, I wanna show you this. Under personal, there's my profile. And that's where you can put your picture in. And there's nothing else really there I want to show you, but let's go to meetings. So I'm clicking on the far left at meetings. These are some of the meeting rooms that I mentioned to you for different clients or different projects that I have set up right now. 
Um, so those are all individual links. And then I'm going to go to settings. And when you go to settings, there's both basic and advanced. So let's start with the basic settings. It's basically one long list and it just jumps you to, um, to the list. Yeah. Okay. So let's start actually with schedule meeting because that's part of the settings. So um, am I going to start my meetings with my video on? That's, you can do that. You can choose to or not to. Um, I can start meetings with participant video on. I have it set off just because people, I like people to control that. Um, right here is my audio type. Um, determine how participants can join. In this case, uh, Patty is leading the meeting, so these aren't the settings for the meeting we're in. I'm just showing you kind of my back end for my meetings. I have it set up for telephone and computer. Um, this is important. You may not want others to join before you. Mm -hmm. And so um, you can turn this off. So basically these are a toggle. So if they're blue, they're on, gray, they're off. Um, so there's a lot of things here. I would encourage you to go through and think about how you're gonna use it, how you wanna set it. Um, there's also mute participants upon entry. Um, that's, a, that's a good thing to have. Um, I don't know why I haven't set that. <laughs> that. I like that one because it can be really loud. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that one. Um, and then I'm gonna go down to basics. Okay, so basics is, uh, what did I wanna show you here? I wanna show you specifically, okay. You could do polling. Would either of you have an interest in doing polling with groups that you're in? Like ask them. Yeah, I wouldn't, but I'm interested to hear about it. Yeah. Me too. So you could turn it on. Um, Patty, do you have polling on? Let's see. I'm not sure that I, we're gonna be able to do a poll. Um, oh, it's only I'm available with a version. Okay, it's only available with a version. Um, so it may, that may not be something we can do. Um, so I'm sorry, I can't share with you about that. Um, there is something called a whiteboard, <laughs> which is really fun. Uh, um, and basically, let's see if I can share that with you. Okay. So share is something that Zoom provides a, a little whiteboard. So what I've done is I've gone to my screen, I've shared it. This is the whiteboard. Do you see the pen? Yes. <laughs> so you know how we used to meet and we used to draw napkins and things and, and this is kind of a virtual way to do it. So if, if we were trying to communicate something like a model, like, oh, this is what I mean. Like, let's do this model. Let's do three circles. Say we were having a planning meeting or something. You know, we could, we could do that and we could share the whiteboard. You could make it so that each other could use it. And then at the bottom of the whiteboard, can you see it says eraser spotlight? Is that visible to all of you? No, that's not visible. It's not visible. Okay. Well, it gives you an option to do text. So now I've switched to text. Oh, that's great. So if you, if, you know, sometimes words fail us and we need visuals, this is kind of a, a fun way to be able to do Absolutely. that. Absolutely. I'm a graphic designer, so I'm do everything visual. So this would be perfect. Oh, great. Good. And then what you can do is um, there's a little save on the bottom icon bar with the whiteboard. So you could save it and it saves as a PNG file. Nice. And Vazi, yeah. did you just notice that I annotated on your drawing? <laughs> Yay. Okay, that's great. And so um, can anyone else draw on it? You don't, you guys don't see the little. Uh, uh, try but... nothing. How do you enter into the drawing? <laughs> You would have a, um, a icons uh, typically at the bottom that say text draw. Oh, array. I don't, I yeah. Don't have those. yeah. Okay. So, so it must not be sharing. Well, on my you're sharing right now still, um, but 
so because you're sharing, if you go up to the top of your screen, it should say you are viewing Vazi's screen. And then it says view yeah. options. And when you click that little down arrow, you see annotate. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, great. Thank click you. on that. Yeah. And that gives you a pen. And it gives you all the things that she had. Oh, yay. <laughs> 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 very cool. I it up. Cool. Very cool. All right. Good. Well, I'm glad we had a chance to try that. <laughs> and um, the other thing, and, and you, you'll notice here, oh, okay, wait, let me go back to my share here. Um, by the way, when you're sharing, it says, uh, it gives you a little red button that says stop share. So that can help you remember, oh, am I still sharing? I can't remember. Um, but what I wanted to show you is see right here next to whiteboard, it says auto save whiteboard when sharing is stopped. Okay. You might, you might want to do that just in case you forget, you know, just do an auto save. And that saves it as a PNG file? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. Saves it a PNG file. Mm-hmm. Um, Vasi, when you, I saw that you had whiteboard turned on, but then when you went to switch to the whiteboard, where did you find that? Is that just something you could see and we couldn't see? Yeah, it's, it basically is when you open the share window, it has every file you have open on your computer. It was, it oh. was there. Whiteboard was there. Okay. It puts it there. Yeah. So that's why I accessed it. Good question. So I wanted to show you a couple things in the, in meeting advanced. So we just went through the basic settings. These are the advanced settings. So here's the breakout room. So if that's not enabled, it'll be gray. If you enable it, that means that any meetings that you are hosting, you can do breakout rooms. Um, let's see, a lot of these. Um, let's see what I wanted to show you. There's something else here. Screen sharing. So this one allows both your participants to share their screen in addition to you. So that's turned on so that, so all of you could share your screen. Um, would you like to experiment with that? Would you like to use the screen share, Eileen and Corinne, so you're a little more comfortable? I'd like to try it, yes. Okay. So I need to go, where do I go to turn on my screen so share? So I'm gonna stop share because only one, uh, uh, we're gonna share okay. one at a time and go to the little green box, see where it says share on yeah. the icon? Uh -huh. okay. And then that should call up a window of what's open on your computer. Okay. And then you can pick something you want to share with us. Oh, I have to. Okay. So how do I? <clears throat> so um, tell me what you're seeing at your end. I see my, um, obviously the website for Zoom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if I pick that. And oh, then, there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I could. If I clicked off of that, though, won't I lose you? <laughs> well, let's go ahead and try it. Uh, you want to click on a website? Is that what you're thinking? Yes. But yeah. then I'd have to open a new window, wouldn't I? Because I don't want to lose our connection. Oh, I see what you're saying. You're afraid you're going to lose the Zoom connection. Okay. Um, right now, you're only... Is it, is it, what are you guys seeing? <laughs> so we're seeing your Zoom uh, window and oh. Oh. that's, that's fine. Um, and you don't have to close it, but to share something else, you would have to stop share. Oh, I'd have to stop share on the Zoom window? I believe so. Let's... But that's my internet connection to you right now. <clears throat> um, so there should be a little red dot or something that says stop share on your screen. Do you see that? Um, no, <laughs> I don't know how to get okay. back to where I was. Oh dear. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Um, do you see anything that says share on it? On the zoom screen? Mm -hmm. Cause we're seeing your screen and I don't see how to stop the share on your screen. It probably looks different to you. Oh, up there. Okay. It was up at the top. The ah, there we go. Okay. So that's good to know. It depends where your, your icon bar is. Yeah. Eileen, did you want to test that? Unmute myself. Okay. So I'll press share. 
and oh, I'm seeing all kinds of things. Um, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. yeah. Why should you or the person you're nominating win this award? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, stop share. So okay, that's easy. It's as easy as that, really. Mm -hmm. I, I find that's one of the things people get most nervous about, but it's but it's really easy. Yeah. Um, so let me just go back and let me see if there was any other things um, to share with you about the advanced settings. Um, this waiting room is good. So if you're doing back-to-back -back meetings, um, you can enable it. And what that means is that people get a message. You probably, you may have gotten it in Zoom meetings where it says, you know, it's, that it's not, uh, the, the host will come on. And so that, that's good because you, that way you don't have people stumbling into meetings mm -hmm. if you're already doing it. Um, okay, this is the other thing I wanted to show you. If you ever wanted to live stream, so you're in a Zoom meeting and you want to do a live stream to Facebook, you would have to enable this setting here. See, so it doesn't show that. I, I just found this out this morning because I was thinking about like, I've been at the other end where people have live streamed me on Zoom, but I haven't initiated it. So I was wondering how they did it. Mm -hmm. And so this is where it is, allow live streaming. And once you turn it on, then you have the Facebook option, YouTube, different things like that. Very cool. Yeah. That's really neat. Yeah, isn't that neat? Mm -hmm. Um, and then these are just your email notifications. Um, when you have a recording, it does not automatically convert typically. So you have to convert it, which means you just click on it. Um, I wonder if I could share a screen on that. It's really easy. You just need to go to the, the directory of where your recordings are stored. And typically it's in, it's called zoom. <laughs> it's just yeah. the zoom directory. Mm -hmm. And you click, and then what it does is it converts them fairly quickly. Uh, there's an audio file, and then there's a MP4 video file. And like when I use this with clients, I, I always just share the audio and I delete the video because the video takes up a lot of thing. But unless they really need the video, we don't necessarily need the video. They're just, they, they might listen to the audio again. Mm -hmm. um, it also, you can save your chat. So if you were ever doing, for whatever reason, I don't know, a class or something, and you wanted to save the chat, you could save that. It saves as a text file as well. Mm -hmm. um, so let's see. I think that's all I was thinking of sharing with you here. Um, Vazi, I have a, a question about in the settings. Um, mm -hmm. Meetings, uh, it doesn't automatically send out a reminder to people like it does with webinars. Where do you, where's that setting? to send reminders to people? I actually have not used that setting. Because what I've been doing is going mm -hmm. into the meeting ahead of time and just sending a reminder, but that's a manual thing. And yeah. um, I know there's some things you have to do in the client, there's other things that you can do on the web, you know, in uh -huh. your general setting. So I, I wasn't sure where that was. So maybe we'll find it together. <laughs> maybe we'll find it. Yeah, I've never used it. Um, and I'm looking really quickly on email notifications and I don't see it under email notifications for reminders. Mm -hmm. But that brings up a really good point, which is about um, webinars. So what's the difference between a webinar and a meeting in Zoom? So a Zoom meeting is what we're doing now. A webinar would be an extra um, service that you would need to purchase through Zoom on top of your account. And so the webinar has the functionality, once you purchase that through Zoom, you have additional functionality like email reminders, Patty, that you're talking mm -hmm. about, mm -hmm. like uh, registration, like um, uh, statistics, keeping track of things. So there's a, the, whatever other technology that does webinars, it, that's what you would do Zoom. it's different um levels of mm -hmm. that yeah yeah that's very good to know i'm not that big yet <laughs> <laughs> that's how we do the women lead webinars though we do those via zoom and it, it works out really well if you've never attended one of those you should <laughs> watch for those coming up <laughs> great so i'm looking at the questions um 
can you also join via the web instead of having to download the client? Um, the Patty, that was your question. Yeah. So tell me what you mean by that. I'm not quite sure I understood. So what, what I discovered was that in the meeting settings, there's a setting that says allow people to join from the web. Um, whereas if you don't enable that, when people go to join a meeting, it, it, it's a pause where they're waiting to download the client. And I never really quite understood the value of the two. Like, why, why would you not do that? Or why would you do that? So I didn't know if you knew what was the benefits of one versus the other. You know, I really think it depends on who, what you're using Zoom for mm -hmm. and who's coming. Okay. Because so many people use it now that it's already downloaded and it's not, a, they just, they just go right in, you know? Yeah. Um, but if you're using it for a market or a series of people that aren't comfortable with it or aren't using it, that may be just one more barrier to them joining and you might, right. you might want to have the web one. Right. For right. Ease of use. Okay. That's a good point. And that, that was kind of exactly why I enabled it, you know, was somebody questioned, why do I have to download yet again something else you know even though all the other ones go to meeting and and um you know all those other ones require you to do that anyway so yeah well the question that comes up for me i'd have to research it but the question that comes up is why not why not enable it mm -hmm. what does it hurt right right yeah well if somebody joins the meeting not through a zoom application but just through the other choice are they able to have chat with you or just view. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So why would they need to download it then if, if they don't really want to download another application, they could just do the other link, correct? I'm wondering if maybe it's um, a, a latency issue. You know, maybe if you're accessing through the, the client, you have better connection. Whereas if you're only connecting on the web, maybe you've got all the issues that come up with connecting, you know, on the web. I, that was my thought. So that's probably mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So for example, I didn't download anything and I just clicked on the link on my laptop and it just took me straight here. Yeah. That was fine. But I'm going to be a regular user and, yeah. and uh, you know, this is something that I want to use as a tool. I'm definitely going to be downloading. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, um, one thing when I was still working in corporate, um, we Zoom was a relatively new platform and it had only been out maybe a year or so. And we were using all of the usual, you know, biggies. And, and there was always a challenge with um, somebody, you know, this person's on a PC and this person's on a Mac and this person is on their phone and so forth. And we started gradually shifting over to Zoom even before it was recognized as a corporate tool because it's very tool agnostic you know it's mm -hmm. it's like if you're on a mac if you're on a pc if you're on your phone whatever it's almost as easy to join from anything so mm -hmm. that was one huge benefit that i i saw of zoom mm -hmm. yeah good point yeah. we would spend a lot of time saying oh i can't where is that but i don't know how that you know <laughs> anyway that was yeah. that was our reasoning so. yeah good um, Eileen, I wanted to go back to your earlier question of um, speaking that you might be, I don't know that it was a question, but it was a situation. You might be using Zoom to speak to uh, uh, people in a room, correct? Yes, I just, I just got off the phone right before this, uh, before this meeting, and I was told that if attendance is low at a speaking engagement that I have next week, rather than travel to to their meeting place, which is a like two hour drive. Um, they said they would set up the Zoom call, so I wouldn't be setting up anything. And, uh, and then I would just be conducting the workshop um, or the discussion, holding the discussion with them and facilitating a discussion um, from my home office. And so now that I've seen more uh, of this and how it works, um, it sounds like that would work fine. Mm -hmm. Did you have any questions come up? Um, well, that's what I'm wondering. So if they're, if they're having it from their side, um, they would have the laptop or the computer set up so that I'd be able to see everybody in the room, I'm assuming? Yeah. 
um, that's a good point because that would be important to you to be able to see the people, right? Mm -hmm. As you're talking. And yeah. how are you going to handle questions? That would be the other thing. Do you right. anticipate that'll be some, some level of interaction? Absolutely. That's what it's all about, right? Mm -hmm. I'm helping them with, you know, their influence and working with the media. And I know they're going to have questions and I'll have tips to share with them. Yeah. Um, so. So the most, I think some really just like basic things, and I don't know if this group is used to doing Zoom meetings like in this way, but one of the main things would be sound. You know, are they going to all be able to hear you? Are, are, are they projecting it? It's a big projector screen and, you know, speakers or is it just a laptop? You know, how are they doing it? So the sound would be important. So that might be something uh, you want to test before you actually do do it with them. Mm -hmm and make sure they're set up. Because if, if they're just thinking, we'll just Zoom like we do for any meeting, it sounds like it's gonna be a little different situation for you to be speaking to Okay, them. I'll have that conversation with them in advance. That's a good idea. And yeah. also I'll work on my audio on this end so that I'm not using my phone and I'm doing it through the computer and, you know, and uh, it'll be more seamless. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see the telephone come up. <laughs> And what about, um, are you going to be uh, doing any slides as part of your talk with them? Do you need to share screen? Uh, originally, that was the intent. And now we discussed, why don't I just, I'll have a handout and I can send it in advance. And okay. they'll have a handout have in the end. But I don't think visuals will be as important for this okay. discussion. Great. So that sounds pretty, pretty simple then and straightforward. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad you, this is almost a test for me right here. You know, this is perfect. The time, the timing was perfect. Yeah. Yeah. You know, if you want, we could try, we have a few minutes left. We could try you, um, unmuting your mic on your computer and okay. let me mute the phone and then mute the phone. Okay. Okay. Mike, so I'm going to Okay. So we're, yeah, we're getting the echo because of your oh, phone. I'm going to turn, turn off my phone. Yep. Okay. Great. I'm turn off my phone because that is giving feedback. Can you hear me? Okay. Yes. I can hear you. It sounds, at least for presentation, it sounds a little echoey to me. So then you might just want to plug in an, an earpiece. I'm going to do that. Yeah. I'm going to do that. Otherwise, you should be fine. And okay. Fine. And it's, it sounds a little muddy for me on this end as well. So oh. I could see that having a better audio connection. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Good. Okay. Great. Do you feel prepared then based on what we talked I, about? I, yeah. I can't believe the timing was, so, I got off that <laughs> call saying we're going to use Zoom and then, and then I'm, I'm going to learn about Zoom. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, great. So thanks, Bossy. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Um, any other questions or um, information we can share with you? Uh, I was uh, curious about the, you said the webinar feature was a separate feature mm -hmm. and um, it sounds like you can do everything from registration to can you accept payment or do you need a payment app for that? A separate? That's a really good question. Um, I've never used it. I've never used Zoom for webinar, so I can't answer that question. Mm -hmm. But what I will say is that Zoom has excellent help. <laughs> oh. If you go to their help, they have videos, they have written. It's nice because they have both. Sometimes it, we learn better from videos. Sometimes we learn better from reading. I found their help enormously, uh, just so right helpful. on. Helpful. <laughs> I was like looking for another word, like what else can I use? Yeah. So, you know, just search. So if there's something yeah. like that, it comes up and it will take you through it. Yeah. It's really great when you're setting up the registration requirement that you can um, you can ask to gather certain information, you know, like, like um, you get their name and email address automatically, but you can ask for their profession, you can ask for their location, you know, that kind of stuff. And you can also ask some custom questions if there's something you specifically want to ask, like we could have asked, mm -hmm. uh, what's your level of experience with Zoom, you know, or something like that. It just gives you some extra information. That's both for meetings and for, uh, for the webinars too. Okay, and then um, I'm going to just make an assumption that if I'm sharing PowerPoint slides, then that's the share, mm -hmm. share screen feature and my PowerPoint would be ready and right. 
-hmm. Right, right. Yeah, and for the most part, you, Vasi, correct me if I'm wrong, um, when we do the webinars, we don't ever share video. It's just the presenter is sharing their deck, they're talking, people are sending in questions and that kind of thing, so. It's just oh, one yeah. way, yeah. Mm -hmm. You brought yeah. up video. Um, one of the selections that you showed us when setting up the meeting was that you could select video on. So that means in order to show a video, you need to have that select, what does that mean? It, it just means that the video camera's on. Oh, the video people. camera. They're, they're, yeah, their camera's on. Yeah. Um, or your camera's on. Okay, yeah. thank you. But you could, do, you could do video and it would just be a screen share. You would oh. just navigate to where the video is. Mm -hmm. It's just the same screen share, which is nice. They keep it simple. Yeah. yeah. So anything else? Vazi, could you, I, we've only got a few minutes left here, but I know that one, um, you talked a little bit about etiquette, but could you say something about people that join from a mobile device, um, yeah. you know, as far as like, what you should be aware of? Yeah. So um, a lot of times when people join from a mobile device, they're, they're moving. They're actually mobile, right? Um, and so it's important. I, I personally think that the etiquette for that is if you're moving it, and it's very distracting, we can't help but look at that, uh, turn the video off. Good turn idea. the video off, and which you can do, you know, on the mobile app very easily. Mm -hmm. um, because it's very distracting and you could say, well, you don't have to look, but the thing is, is that our eyes still are registering that movement. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I think that's a good etiquette. Um, and the other thing is, is sometimes I will turn my, my video off, um, even at my desk, if I have to move or do something or leave the room or get a glass of water. Mm -hmm. Um, because I find some people are like, well, where did they go? And then all of a sudden they're distracted. Right. And I've distracted other people in the meeting. I'm so, sorry. I did that to you all. I didn't know. No, no, no. I'm just, and this is just, this is just what I'm, um, what I'm suggesting, you know, yeah. um, is that, is that what you were referring to Patty? Exactly. Of, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we had a, an experience when I was in corporate where, um, the gentleman didn't realize that his video would be on immediately when he joined and he was driving home and had his phone in his lap and we're, <laughs> and we're all like, turn off your video. please." <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, well, Fozzie, this has been amazingly helpful, I know, to, uh, to everybody on, and, and Eileen, it was so timely for you. This is really, really great. That's just the way things work out, right? But um, I just want to thank you for your time. Thank you for being so generous with um, sharing with us and, um, you know, just taking the time out of your busy day to share about this tool that we can all use to do better in our business. And um, I encourage everybody who's who's on the line and then who might be listening to this afterwards um, to check back with us. We've got several of these women lead online forums that are are going on. We've got the next one is on the 25th of this month at two o'clock, and that is facilitated by Sean Marie Turry, and that is our series called Truth is the New Black and she's going to dive into some juicy topics and then the next one following that is on june 27th and that one occurs during happy hour at 5 30 in the afternoon and it's called in the ladies room where we talk about maybe things we wouldn't necessarily talk about it unless we were at a hop happy hour hanging around with each other and we're going to be talking about um, the myth of the work-life balance and we have a panel that will be joining us so i think everyone's got an opinion on what is work-life balance and and who says type of thing so i encourage you to look for those we'll be promoting those as they come up and um, feel free to join and it's just uh, another great way of connecting learning and and growing so thank you again Vazi. thanks so much to eileen and corinne who joined us live thanks to everybody else who's out there in the the ether that will be listening to this later and I hope you got some really great tips on how to use Zoom in your business. Thank you. Take care, everybody. Bye now. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks, everyone. Bye.